Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 3.2, which is also the same as 3.1 of November 2013 for A-level math. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. Now, let's move on to question number one. So here we have the equation of y equal to this thing over here. Now, this one is a fraction for x, which is more than half. Okay, now, why is it more than half? If you realize, if you put this value equal to half, it will become zero and you cannot divide by zero that's one of the reason why they define more not not equal to half minus half sorry now we have to show the gradient now we have to know the gradient of a curve simply means it is dy by dx it's always going to be negative which is less than zero we have to show this is true how let's first find dy by dx now as you can see this one is a fraction so you have to use the quotient rule so dy by dx will be first write the base as it is multiplied by d by dx of this one which is just one then minus the top as it is multiply d by dx of this one that should be two then the whole thing divide by the base square you will have one plus two x square now simplify let's see what happens uh, times one will be the same thing one plus two x here we have minus 2 minus 2x now this will cancel out and you'll have minus 1 over the value of 1 plus 2x square now by observation it's pretty easy to know why for example you will say well dy by dx from what i can see it is derived to be minus 1 over the value of 1 plus 2x square now for x to be more than minus half you can see that that this value would always be positive why because anything square will be positive right and minus one would always be negative now negative divided by positive will always be negative so thus you can say well hence hence because we have a negative value divided by a positive value will always be negative value because of that we can confirm dy by dx will always have to be negative that's the reason why okay and this is your question number one now let's move on to question number two so here we have to solve this equation uh, giving your answers correct to 3sf so step number one if you want to simplify the equation we can say let y equal to 3 power x so you will have 2 y minus 1 equal to y now obviously we can uh, simplify or solve uh, square both sides if you want to. You will have four y minus one square. That should be y square. Now here we have what we can expand. Uh, you will have four here. That will be y square minus two y plus one is equal to y square. Expand. You have four y square minus eight um, y plus four has to be y square send everything to one side you will have 4 minus 1 should be 3 y square minus 8 y plus the value of 4 and that will be 0 now we can try to factorize and see what happens that will be 3 y y 4 is 2 times 2 to get minus 8 we have to have minus 6 and minus 2 so y will be the value of 2 over 3 and y will be the value of 2. Again, it is a quadratic equation. If you can solve by uh, using uh, this factorization, you can always use your formula to find the value of y. Now, in the end, obviously, we're not trying to find the value of y. We're trying to find the value of, of x. Right? So y is equal to 3. Power x equal to 2 over 3. 3 power x is equal to 2. Now the power is up here, it is x is a power, we have to bring it down, we have to apply log on both sides. Now you can choose log or ln, doesn't really matter here, we can use both. Have this, and here you will have this. Now by the laws of logarithms, we can bring this down in front. Bring this down in front as well, so x log 3, that will be log 2 over 3, x log 3, that will be Oh, here I'm missing log here, log 2. So finally, x will be obviously 
subject that will be this over 3 divided by log 3 x will be log 2 over log 3 simplify let's see what happens so here we have log 2 over 3 divided by log 3 that will be minus 0 0.369 now log of 2 divided by log of 3 that will be 0 0.631 so we have two values here to 3sf for your values of x and this is your answer for question number 2 now let's move on to question number 3 so we have to find the exact value so exact value of this integration integral so first thing first we can rewrite this as what if you observe we have root of x at the bottom that will be x power half now what is ln of x over x power half? We can write this as x power minus half and ln of x. So this will be integration of 4, 1, which is the limits. And here we have x power minus half and ln of x. Now, this is algebraic. This is logarithmic. We can use the late rule here. This is over here. And this will be over here. So now whichever happened first will be my u and this will be my dv. So u will be equal to ln of x. So hence du will be 1 over x dx. Similarly, we have dv will be x power this one. So v will be integration of this one. So first we have to increase the power by 1. You will have x half. Then divide by half will be multiplying by 2. So divide by half is the same as saying, as saying times 2. That will be 2 root of x. So now replace back in your main equation. We have to know by parts is only a formula we have to know, which is uv minus the integration of v du. Now uv, u is this one. Times v, v is this one. Minus the integration of v, which is 2, half. And then du has been seen to be the value of 1 over x, dx. Now, what can we do? Simplify, right? So you will have 2 here, root of x, ln of x, minus 2 outside. x half divided by x should be x minus half, dx. Now, we have seen this. This becomes this, becomes this one, 2 root of x. So eventually you will have 2 root of x, ln of x, minus 4 root of x, and your limits will be the value of 4 and 1. Of course, you have to write the, the limits everywhere here, 4 and 1, 4 and 1, and so on, right? So now replace, let's see what happens. You will have 2. Root of 4 will be 2. Ln of 4 minus 4 times 2. Minus 2 times 1 ln of 1 minus 4 times 1. This will cancel out because ln of 1 is 0. This will cancel out. Um, so minus, minus become plus, plus 4. Here we have uh, 4, ln of 4, minus 8, plus 4. We have 4, ln of 4, minus 4, as your answer for question number 3. This is the exact value of this integral. You have something like this. I think the main part here is to know, well, we can rewrite this as, as this, and then using by parts to find the integral. And this is your question number three. The description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.